All right, what we have here is just a good old-fashioned U substitution problem. Um, so I think it's obvious here that the most complicated thing here is the LNX. Let's just start off by trying U equals LNX, and that would mean that DU equals 1 over X DX, which means that DX equals uh, X times DU. Okay, with that in mind, let's go ahead and rewrite this thing. So that means we're really taking the integral from... Well, if I was to replace my 1 and my 9 into ln x, that's the ln of 1 and the ln of 9. The ln of 9 I'll go ahead and write up here. But the ln of 1, we should know that the ln of 1 is really just 0. So I'm just going to put a 0 there. Oh, and that means that I can rewrite this as u to the 1 half. I have an x down here. But now dx is actually equal to, right, dx is actually equal to x du. So I'm going to write that as x du. Okay, well... That's kind of nice because that means these x's right here will cancel out. And so we're just doing the integral of u to the 1 half. Okay, well, if I do that, add 1 to the exponent. What does that become? That becomes u to the 3 halves. Divide by the new exponent. It's the same thing as multiplying by reciprocal. So that's like saying multiply by 2 thirds. And we're going from 0 to ln of 9. Well, that's the same thing. Since I'm just plugging in a 0, it just, just ended up being 0. So we have 2. There's my ln, whether you like it or not, that's an ln 9. 3 halves over 3 minus 2 times 0 to the 3 halves over 3. But again, this is, this is all just going to be 0, so it doesn't even matter. So there's your answer. Just a simple u-substitution problem.